Yosha, what are you doing? Stop! Wait! It takes the underground! It's a lot faster than the car! The underground is amazing! What are you doing? Not now, I'm doing some totally legit work on my laptop. You want to see this? <gasps> is it what I think it is? It's a package for you. Oh my God. Oh yes, it's a Christmas present from my parents. What could it be? Oh. Oh. It's a London Underground light box. Because we lived in London, we're very, very big underground fans, tube fans. Oh, you can even exchange. <laughs> you can even exchange what it says. You see the potential in that, Finners, right? I think he sees the potential. Like this. <coughs> I kind of wish we could put our own stations in there. Yeah. <gasps> I've got an idea. <gasps> Oh yeah! Don't do it! Yeah. Oh my god. I have no idea if that was an amazing investment or if we just totally blew all of our money. We'll see. That's the moment. Oh -ho! I think that's it! I'm so excited! <laughs> <gasps> Yasha! I'm sorry! I knew sorry. this was gonna happen! Here we are! These are all photos that we ordered with our own station names on it and we have one for every room in the house. So what we did is we used Photoshop to replicate the underground logo which luckily is the simplest sign you could possibly imagine. Then we researched the exact font that was used for the signage and downloaded it. Finally we wrote whatever we wanted on it and printed it through Poster XXL. Now this is a time lapse at 10 times normal speed of me cutting out a sign. But it looks like normal speed because I am so absolutely slow with it. And uh, that was just one. That took way too long to cut out. So here we go. Now we just have to hang them on the wall. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look really nice. Just a bit sad that nobody's gonna be able to see them. I'll be right back. What is he doing? Yosha, what are you doing? What is he holding? Yosha, stop! Wait. What's with the underground? It's the underground. It's a lot faster than the car. It's the best underground. Check it out. It's the underground. What are you doing? They should take the underground so they can see it. How it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Our viewers will see it. I guess. Okay, mm. let's go inside. <laughs> so this room is Lena's corner because it's my room. The room is also in the corner of the house. Nice. By the way, each of our new station names are inspired by actual existing London Underground stations. So if you feel like you know London, feel free to guess along and we will put the solution in the description down below. So now we're going to the real Mecklenburg underground. <laughs> this is the tab thing. Where you pay. Yeah. So in order to get inside, you have to pay with your oyster card. <laughs> so I'll tap. <laughs> Sometimes you can even sneak in our passengers, but only small. Lincoln, do you want to get a free ride? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was not quite legal. So now let's come inside of the Mecklenburger Underground. We'll take this elevator upstairs and here we are already in the next station. This room is mainly used in order to check on the dog 
when he's outside. Oh, there he is. Hi, dear. And this is the reason why this room is called Binocular Park. Because of the binoculars that we're checking on the dog with. So let's move on. The next room is called the Netflix town. Because this is where we watch Netflix. And chill. But now what do you think? Uh. Over here we have Saint Uta's. It's not a church, it's Uta's bedroom. But I mean, she is kind of a saint herself, isn't she? Yes, she is. Her next stop is afternoon. And because Lou means toilet, this is our bathroom. This next room is called Kitchen Central and behind the door we have, you guessed it, our personal aquarium. Oh, hi! <laughs> Currently under construction for a future kitchen makeover video. Minka, which room should we present next? Oh, right! Here we have the Otter Junction, which is me and Lena's bedroom. It's called Otter Junction because otters are our spirit animals. Next up, here we have a direct exit to the balcony lane. It's the least used station on the line because uh, it's a balcony. And the last station of the line is for the attic where the cat lives in her newly acquired igloo and therefore it is called Minka Circus. Look Minka, there it's your station. What do you say? <laughs> so that no one gets lost, we put up a tube style map of all the stations and its connections. And of course that is just the first line in the house. Here we have a sign showing you the way to the future lines that are currently under construction. We have the Findus line, the Oma and Opa line and the chicken line coming soon. Actually not, but... <laughs> so that completes the tour of our very own underground. Stay tuned for next week's video when we will be building the tracks, buying our first train and hopefully open our underground to the public by Sunday. We're not. Attention please. This video will terminate in approximately 10 seconds. Thank you for watching us today and we hope to welcome you again soon on board one of our other videos, like this one, where we traveled to the end of the Metropolitan Line and discovered what there is to see. Please do not forget any personal items such as likes or subscribes when leaving the video and we will see you soon.